Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to part 3 of Scripting for Beginners on Roblox. And today we'll be teaching you about functions. 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 Functions are incredibly useful and they'll make coding easier for anyone who uses it. So, let's get started. So what are functions? Functions are basically blocks of code that you can run multiple times and you can call it whenever you want. So how do we make one? So you start by writing local function and then you need to give a name to your function. So let's call it add numbers. And then you need brackets. Then you press enter and you'll see that the word end has been added here. So local function and then the function name, the brackets and then the end. So let's say we wanted to add one and two together. So let's create a variable called results and assign it to the answer to one plus two. And we'll get it to print that result out to the output window, print result. So let's run this now. Huh, that's funny, nothing prints out. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you need to call the function first. So this is how you call the function. You basically write the function name followed by the brackets. So this is calling the function. So now when we run this code, it will execute the code that's inside of this block. So let's run it. So as you can see, it prints three because one plus two is three. Now let's say you want to do something with the result. How would you access the answer, right? So let's say I want to do something with the result out here. How do I get the result that I've made inside the function outside of it? Well, this is where returning comes into play. Instead of printing the result, there's something called returning. So basically you do return and then whatever you want it to send back. So we want to return the result. What it does is it adds one plus two together, which makes three. So result equals three. And it basically returns the number three back to where you called the function. The last thing we need to do is to create a variable to assign the function to. So you do local answer equals add numbers. So basically this calls the function and it assigns whatever the function returns to answer. So when we call the function, it will do one plus two, which is three. It returns three and it assigns it to answer. To prove that we can print the answer out here and you'll see that it prints three. So let me clear the output window first and run the code. And it prints three. So that's returning. So that's basically how you return things from functions. So now you guys know how to make functions and how to return values from it. In the next video, we'll be teaching you about parameters and arguments for functions. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.